Hello, welcome to Rescue Speechless. Today's video is going to be another skin cover video, and today's skin will be the foundation. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin cover video, and today's skin is going to be the foundation. As you can see on the screen here, he was the secret skin for the Chapter 3 Season 1 Battle Pass. He's pretty cool. He has a few edit styles. He has the color, the foundation, the foundation combat, so basically a black and red suit. He has the headwear off, headwear off, sorry, headwear on, headwear off. So I personally decided to make five combos for the foundation color and then the foundation combat color now decide to use the headwear off but it's totally up to you whether or not you want to use the headwear on or not and obviously if you do use the headwear you can choose whatever visor you would you want to use if i did use the visor i'd use the ultimate style but this video was suggested by darth jar jar thank you very much for the video suggestion he said can you do a foundation skin combos of course i can i really do like this skin a lot so i try to make a lot of different combos with this skin so it's actually quite an easy skin to combo with Let's get into the first one. So the back thing I'm using is Shattered Wing. It's very nice with the blue of this armor. The standard edit style. Pickaxe is the Handle of Lightning, which is from Chapter 2, Season 4's Battle Pass. And the Storm's Pickaxe. If you don't have this one, but you do have the Frozen Flourish, that'll work nicely. Or if you wanted to use the Phantasm Pulse, that also work nicely, which is this one here. I have to just combo it to have it like, say, this, this blue here. You can have it fully blue or that and a little bit of red or that and a little bit of black. So it's up to you how you want to combo it, but it works nicely. Collider. I'm using is the foundation or the umbrella I'm using is the foundation umbrella. And this is the Victor umbrella from Chapter 2, Season 6. If you played all the way back then, that would work perfect. But if you didn't play then, but you do want to use the Seven Signet, which is the Victor Glider from Chapter 3, Season 1, which is the season that the foundation skin came out. Feel free to use that. They both work nicely. Control is glitching the system. This is from Chapter 1 Season 5. I'm pretty sure it's from the Battle Pass all the way back then. So if you don't have this, just whack on any red, blue, black. Control, so it worked nicely. So I swapped this one on because I wasn't sure what to use. I, I didn't think there was one that a Control actually came with the foundation. So I decided to whack this one on because it's red on both the edit styles. I thought, why not use a red one? And the wrap I'm using is Ripley. And this is from Chapter 2 Season 1's Battle Pass. But if you don't have this one, this weapon wrap, but you did play last season and got the Slurpmatic one, this one here, that would be a very good alternative to the Ripley. Let's move on to the second combo. I decided to use the Alim, which is a backbone from Chapter 1, Season 6, part of the AIM set. And basically, this is the first ever secret skin we got, which is basically like a robot. And this backbone, essentially, to, when you get a kill, it says, Reactive D displays your number of eliminations in the match, which is pretty cool. So it's like the first ever one we got which counted your limbs. I used to use it all the time back in the day. It's pretty cool. It works very nicely with this actual skin. I swagged on thinking, you know, just trial it and it actually does work way better than I thought. Pickaxe is a Lunar Defender, which is the part of the seven set and I'm pretty sure this was Paradigm Reality 659's Pickaxe from last season's Battle Pass or Chapter 3 Season 4's and I'm using the standard Lun Lunar Defender style. And I thought for this one I'd use mostly the seven set you know, combos like for like pickaxe and the wrap I'm using is also a part of the seven set and it's the original issue introduced in chapter three, season two. Obviously it works very nicely with the armor of the foundation for this edit style. Let's move on to the next combo. I decided to whack on the Crimson Crest from the chapter three, season one battle pass. You can use the blue style, which I'm using the Midnight Crest, or you can also use the red. They'll both work nicely, but I decided to stick with the blue. Pickaxe is a light blade and this is from chapter three, season three, part of the collision chat collision collision set i'm pretty sure this was after the massive event we had where the base of the robot was fighting where we were controlling the mech and basically we got given it if you have the crew pack after that so if you did that you'd you'd have it and it works very nicely because of the red and the blue so i thought i'd whack this one on and then the wrap i'm using is blue metallic just to go with the black and the blue of the armor let's move on to the next combo i decided to use the tragic blade as back bling and also the pickaxe and this is still in the item shop now based on kid Leroy stuff i'm pretty sure this is the rogue Leroy's back bling and pickaxe if you basically click the rogue Leroy skin you'll get the back bling and pickaxe which obviously stack it obviously together and or, or you pick up the kid Leroy bundle and you also get it as well but either way it works very nicely the black and the blue the wrap i decide to use is scan line i really do like this wrap a lot let's move on to the last combo for the standard color i'm using the off world rig this is a complete the uh, this is a complete combo for the seven obviously because the foundation is part of the seven and all of these all of the items are part of the seven basically off world off world rig is part of the seven set it was introduced all the way back in chapter one season four pickaxe is imagined blade this is also from the seven set and was introduced in chapter three season two the edit style i'm using is very um 
Viridian? 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 Yeah, I think it's Viridian. I think it's that. Viridian. It's based like a black and a blue. And maybe a little bit more green, but I still, like, still find this Viridian style works very nicely. And then the wrap I'm using is the Imagined Aura, which is from Chapter 3, Season 2's Battle Pass. For the, for the red, for the red and mainly there's a little bit of black as well. So the red and black, but I decided to work on a whole with the 7 combo. Let's move on to the next combo. And this is the Foundation Combat Style now. And this is probably the combo I go, my go-to combo all the time when I use the Foundation. I always work on the Black Shield, which is from Chapter 1, Season 2's Battle Pass. The first of the Battle Pass we got, which is based on Black Knight Shield. And it was the top skin for that season. Obviously, in that back then, you only had dailies, and the max tier in Chapter 1, Season 2 was 70, which was pretty crazy. I guess it's the first one, they're just trialing out. But either way, the pickaxe I always use is the Foundation Plasma Spike. And I use the Style Foundation Plasma Pips for the dual wield and the color, the Foundation's Flame for that, the black outline. But certainly up to you if you want to, you know, mess around, change it up, and have a single wield. It's certainly up to you, whatever you prefer. And the wrap I always use is Boogeyman. Just for the fully black, but if you don't have this, stealth black would be a very good alternative. Let's move on to the next combo. This combo is also a pretty good combo. The back bling from this season, which is the Mark of the Slayer, which is Doom Slayer's back bling. This will work very nicely because it's red and black on this skin. Pickaxe I like to use a lot as, as well. It's the Sigil of the Empire, which is from Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass, and it's Darth Vader's pickaxe. And the wrap I like to use a lot is for this combo special, or just foundation, or any skin that has black and red, or just black or red. It's a Darth Shader because, as you can see, it's got black, it's got red, it's got a little bit of white as well. It's a pretty cool wrap. I highly do rate it. It's also from the Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass. It's also part of the Darth Vader set. And basically, it's Darth Vader's weapon wrap. It does work very nicely. I do highly recommend using this combo. It's a very clean-looking combo. Let's move on to the next one. I decided to whack on the Sith Trooper Blaster for the black and the red once again. Pickaxe is a Crucible Blade, which is Doom Slayer's pickaxe. And the wrap I'm using is the Foundational, which is, I'm pretty sure, the Foundation's Weapon Wrap. Chapter 3, introduced to Chapter 3, Season 1. Was he Chapter 3, Season 1? Yes, he was. That's the Foundation's Weapon Wrap. We can, if you want, use this on one of the other styles, the like, standard edit style for the like, blue. That'd work nicely, but it works on both of me either way. Let's move on to the second last combo. I decided to whack on the Deadpool Katanas, which is from all the way back in Chapter 2, Season 2. He was the secret skin in that season. I really did like the Deadpool skin. These back things work universally for so many different skins. The pickaxe is fantastic pulse. For this, I decided to use the style Cosmic Edge with the primary color black and the secondary color red. I find this goes very nice, but you can obviously mess around if you want to have it fully black. Feel free or have it fully red. It's totally up to you, but I find the black and the red goes very nicely. And the wrapper to decided to use was, sh was Shredded Red. And this is from Chapter 3, Season 4, Part of the Tooth and Claw set. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if it was the Battle, um, Battle Royale or you know, BR Starter Pack. You know, one we get like 600 V-Bucks with. I'm not 100% sure. But either way, the black, red, and a little bit of grey works very nicely. Let's move on to the final combo. This one, I decided to switch up a little bit, try to use a lot of different back things, back or combo anyway. You no, know, a lot of different colours for this combo anyway. The back bling I'm using is the Oni's Curse, which is Cypher PK's back bling, and I'm using the Reactivity Off for the red. Pickaxe is a power pole, part of the Dragon Ball set, and the wrap I'm using is the Sigil Red from all the way back in Chapter 1, sorry, Chapter 2. Season three, I've liked this wrap a lot. I can't say I've I can't you can't say I've used it in a while, but I find the red, the black, and a little bit of grey does go very nicely with this skin and also the glider. Thank you once again, Darth Jar Jar, for the video suggestion. That is all the ten found of the foundation combos done. I really do like this skin a lot. I, when I first unlocked it, I was using it all the time. It's a pretty good, a pretty good skin. And you can do a lot of different combos of it, which is always nice. But yeah, so if there is any other videos you like to see, skin combos, victory hours, back combos, anything Fortnite related, feel free to whack them in the comments below. You know, I'll try to get them done as soon as I can. In the item shop at the moment, we've got the LeBron James stuff back. So we've got the King James bundle. We've got the Tales from the Animus bundle back. We've got the Hit Squad bundle. I've always wanted to buy that, but I never have. We have some of the other stuff here. We have the Raptori and the Braves. Serpentine, then we have the Nevermore bundle, the the superhero skins or customized hero skins about basically superhero skins back. So if you do want to pick up the Fantastic Pulse, it is there, or buy the hero gear bundle, it's totally up to you. Dailies, we still got the Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, we still got Kid Laroi, Patrick Mahomes is there, wrap your team, so NFL skins. We have the Love is in the Air bundle, which is basically um, the hippie skins. And then we have the Love is in the Air stuff again, so we have different, obviously, Valentine's Day skins. Pretty cool. 
You know, it's not really anything I want at the moment. Just save my V bucks for whenever you know a skin comes out that I want. But anyways, that was pretty decent.